they found him with what looked like saw marks, multiple, uh, to his throat. She would say he did it himself. Hello, true Kramerers. This is the case of Alexander Stevens. Viewer discretion is advised. Alexander Stevens was born on March 23rd, 1992. Hey, that's really close to my birthday. He pretty much lived his entire life in Frostburg, Maryland. He would graduate from Mountain Ridge High School, uh, where he was very active in, I guess, theater. He performed in several plays. And apparently he had a, a very good voice, very baritone, uh, sultry voice. He was also, uh, he played basketball, football, uh, like just any sport, you name it. Uh, he seemed to participate in all of them. Even at a young age, like by the time he was 24 years old, he had already traveled just so many places in the world. He had gone to Britain, France, Germany, Denmark, the Netherlands, Spain, Ireland, South Korea, Canada. Just He just was very worldly. And that being said, he was also very outdoorsy. He was like originally like back in the day a Boy Scout. Uh, he loved camping. He loved being outdoors. And he was very skilled uh, with, you know, dealing with outdoor conditions like camping and whatnot. Alexander was friends with a young woman named Megan Schaefer. On the evening of January 3rd, 2017, Megan and Alex would, according to her, they were going to participate in some sort of cleansing ritual, whatever that means. I think this was more of like a spiritual cleansing because they, uh, the, I guess the plan was to like just burn personal items that they wanted to burn to like, you know, sort of forget about things. I guess it's required both of them to strip nude because that's what they did. So they did this uh, at a place called Savage River State Forest. And specifically there was a, a mountainside or, or a cliffside that was called High Rock. The last time anyone saw Megan and Alex together was a little after 5 p.m. on January 3rd, 2017 at the park. They were observed by just other park goers, passerbys. Going into the very early morning hours, now of January 4th, 2017, 911 receives a panicked phone call. Um, it is from Megan Schaefer. Uh, she had told them uh, that apparently her and Alex had fallen off a cliff roughly 30-ish feet off of a cliff, and Alex, she believed, was deceased. She said after they fell off the cliff, um, and they did so purely by accident, I guess they were just, they had taken off their clothes, they had gotten ready for this little cleansing thing, um, and then somehow, some way, they got too close, both of them got too close to the cliff's edge, and they both fell off. Um, that al already to me it seems a little far-fetched to believe that, especially since Alex was uh, very uh, skilled in the outdoors. He was very outdoorsy. He knew the area well. It just, it, that seems odd to me, but crazier things have happened. When uh, the ambulance got to where Megan was after the 911 call, she was, uh, clearly had bruises on her body. She had very fresh cuts all over her body. Uh, she was in a uh, hypothermic state. It did appear that she, you know, fell from some sort of high point. Pretty quickly, they get helicopters in the air because they're searching by foot and they're not finding anything. Uh, they get helicopters out there. They start doing, they get big, you know, search crews out there. And eventually, um, a few hours after this is all called in, uh, they do find Alexander Stevens. Um, he is lying face down uh, in a little uh, po uh, pond of water. Um, he is nude. He has cuts and bruises, just like Megan. But something else was very different than, than how Megan was. Uh, he had a knife next to his uh, body, and he had multiple deliberate cuts to his throat. Megan said, first, first she said everything was an accident. 
Um, she didn't even, when she was first questioned, she didn't really mention the uh, throat being cut. When he was found and they questioned her about it, then she says, uh, well, he couldn't handle, because, you know, they had gotten up from this fall. They were really struggling to walk and move. Um, and apparently she said he just couldn't take it anymore. Uh, he was done with the pain. And so he wanted to just, he wanted to end it. So he did it himself. She says that he took the knife to his own throat and cut it. But then the coroner who would examine his body said, well, no, because he had, the coroner stated, was at least seven separate sawing motion cuts to his throat. They actually cut through his carotid artery and his jugular vein so deeply that it nicked and cut the, the bone of his, uh, you know, inside his neck. Typically, one does not, is, isn't really capable of doing that to themselves. So then Megan changes her story again. And by the way, her examination showed no head trauma or anything like that. So she had full recollection of everything. There was nothing wrong with her brain uh, after the fall to suggest that she may not be remembering things correctly. Now she says that when it was really just Alex who fell off the cliff and right as he did so, he decided to grab Megan and take her with him, making Alex look like some sort of villain now. Then she says, <clears throat> for whatever reason, I guess, again, he just couldn't handle whatever, uh, the pain and, and the suffering he was going through of falling off the cliff. He said he forced her to uh, basically thrust him into the knife as he held it. Then the coroner again would say, well, no, these were sawing motions. So then she goes, oh, um, actually what happened was, she says, well, uh, well, actually then what happened was he put the knife in my hand. He then grabbed my hand and then he forced it across his throat like a saw several times. She said that she thought, well, you know what? He was trying to end his life by deliberately jumping off the cliff. And then he just tried to take me with him. It's important to note also that Megan Schaefer, uh, she really didn't seem to shed any tears. She didn't seem uh, at all hurt, like emotionally hurt. She seemed emotionless throughout like all of this. The coroner would determine that Alex Stevens was brutally murdered. This was a homicide through and through. This was not an accident. Uh, this was a deliberately done action by another person. Now, because she won't really tell the truth, it also means she doesn't really say exactly why she did this. They would charge her with second degree murder um, and in a very kind of unusual uh, process because typically prosecution has to prove some kind of motive, but in this case, they didn't really provide one. There was like rumors that like, oh, maybe this was sort of some sort of money thing. Well, the money thing actually kind of had some uh, substance to it. About a week prior to this incident taking place, Alex had transferred $188,000 um, that, that he had in some kind of investment uh, account. And it was transferred to an account uh, being handled by some sort of investment firm, but it was to uh, an account with Megan Schaefer's name on it. I am not crystal clear on how this works because it wasn't like a life insurance thing. Um, so there, I know there was like questions like, does she get to keep that money? Um, uh, it seems like it was sort of up in the air. I'm guessing though, because so she did go to trial. She tried to plead not guilty, um, but she was found guilty of second degree murder because the jury just didn't believe her. Um, and she would end up being sentenced to 30 years in jail. Um, I know she plans like appeals, of course, um, but in terms of the money, I'm not a, I'm not positive on the status of that. The point is that she was found guilty um, of of this murder. So, but now she'll have 30 years to think about that. So, uh oh. My biggest question here, just real quick, is why did she fall off the cliff? Did she really fall off the cliff, or did she just make it look like she did? Uh, because if this was like a deliberate, like, planned murder of some kind, why did she fall off the cliff? Uh, or was there like an altercation between the two of them which caused them to both fall off the cliff? 
Uh, that part is just, it seems, I don't, I'm confused on it, but, um, cause I don't know why she would do that to herself, I guess, otherwise to make it look like she was innocent, but I don't know. Who knows? I just thought that, I thought it was strange. But that is it for this uh, short time true crime video. Um, so I will see you for another video shortly. And uh, yeah, so toodaloos and byzies and uh, byzies. This is, that was stupid. Yeah, yeah, it was.